Remember when you said, you know, if anything happened to you, to go and raise you up. Amen. See, because that's what we believe is resurrection. But people don't care about resurrection. What they care is about a big house, a new car, a wealth, money in the bank, and a healthy life. Why do you serve God? You serve God because you want to protect your children? You serve God because you want to have wealth? Or you serve God because you fear God? I serve God because I fear God. What do I mean that I fear God? That He's real. And the only one that brings life is who? God. To do that is to be obedient to His Word. Last Sunday we celebrated resurrection. And we talked about... I pray God that your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless under the coming of our Lord and Savior. Amen. Until what? The coming of our Lord and Savior. Amen. I mean, when we said that again, I mean, let, let, let's, let, let's, let's read that again. Because 1 Thessalonians 5.23. Yes. That's it. 5 Thessalonians 5.23. I want you to really look at this. Because I believe that every church should be filled today to celebrate this scripture over here. And this is what Paul wrote. And the very God of peace sanctify you holy. And I pray God, your whole spirit and soul and body be what? Preserved. Blameless. Unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. In that order. In that order. He, 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 the thing that really shocked me there is not even the soul and the spirit, but the body. The body. To men, what? I mean, look at that again. Until what? The coming of the Lord. There you go. And the very God of peace sanctify your holy. And I pray God, I was at it. That was added. Let me read it again. And the very God of peace sanctify you holy, and your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So the body is to be waiting for who? For the body of the Lord. According to that, you are supposed to die. We should be 2,000 years old right now. We should be 2,000 years old. Even Paul should be 2,000 years old. But he said that he got decapitated or killed. But he chose. Hmm? So for us, it's to be now dead. That's impossible to believe. For who? For those that don't believe. But me, as a believer, I believe that that is the call of the Christian. Amen. Or the Son of God is to maintain the spirit, soul, and body preserved until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. That would have shouted out. That's why resist the devil in the book of James, and he will flee from you. Well, what is this? Verse 24, 22, what does it say? Abstain from all what? Appearance of, Appearance of evil. Let's back up a little bit. Verse 18. Verse 16. Oh my goodness. Look at this. See that none render what? Evil for evil. Unto any man. But ever follow that which is good. Both among yourself and what? All men. Render evil for evil. Can word hurt your brother? Absolutely. Hmm? Depends how mature he is. It depends on how much you are here. Thank you, bro. That's true. Amen. Think about that. Don't render evil for evil. If you claim that someone has done harm to you, use the power of God called mercy. And have mercy and forgiveness to all those people. By the way, if I have offended any of you, any of you, anyone at any time since I met you, or you that know me out there that will see me, I ask you to forgive me. Because by opening that channel of forgiveness in your life, 
you are allowing God to do a miracle in your life. Because the power of forgiveness is the mercy of God at work. Judgment through God is forgiveness. Father God forgave mankind through His Son Jesus Christ. And Jesus willingly went to the cross to what? To pay the price. To set us free. Free from what? From the power of death. Death. Jesus destroyed the power of death. He rose from the dead. We celebrated that last week. So when we talk about spirit, soul, and body, and he continued to say, See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourself and to all. It is expected of us to always do what is good. Always. Doesn't matter what. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. How often do we pray? Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks to who? To God. For this is the will, the desire of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. I mean concerning me. In a day, do we thank God for everything? Do we even thank God for the breath we take in? Thank you, Lord. What happened if you are underwater? <laughs> There's no air. You are not a fish. So every breath we take, we got to thank God. And that's what life is. Every breath we take is who? God. Think about that for a minute. How are you breathing? Let me talk to you in five minutes. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. Five, I say five minutes. Thirty seconds, we gasping for what? Air. For air. And interesting to know that the first thing that God gave man was what? Breath of life. The breath of life. Think about that. The breath of life. The breath of life. Which he take me again to why? To preserve the body, the soul, and the spirit. And in reverse order, spirit, soul, and body. And he said, quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesizing. Prove all things. And that scripture for the last 30 years also been part of my head. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearing of evil. Then he says, And the very God of peace sanctify you holy. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Then he said, Faithful is he that called you who also will do it. Now, brothers and sisters, I mentioned quantum theology, and that name scared people, and it should not scare you, because all he said that quantum theology it is finding the minute who God is, finding every letter, every dot, every aspect of God. How does God operate in you and me? Yes, we see the big miracles of God. Yes, we saw Moses. Delivering the people of Israel, according to the scripture. We saw Jesus raising from the dead. We can see that he rose, he said, he rose from the dead. But we don't realize that he rose from the dead so that we can also be what? Raised from the dead. So what is the quantum of that? It is, quantum of it is, when Jesus said in the book of John, I am the way, the truth, and the life.